In this year, we'll be looking at how to use the gradient in the paint bucket tool in Photoshop. The first one we'll be looking at is the paint bucket tool. So it's located on the left-hand side. You look for what looks like a rectangle symbol, then the left click and hold. And then if you select the paint bucket tool or G on the keyboard, what you do is whatever you select on the area, it will draw the color in. So on the right-hand side here on the color swatches, you can select your color. So you can see I've got like purple. So if I select purple there, it will put the purple on. So if I want to change that to say a blue, same thing, it will, it will change. Okay, I'm gonna make sure you select the four color. It will change. Now, say I want to put a gradient or I want to change the color from left to right. What I can do is um, I left click and hold on that same option there. I select the gradient tool. And at the top here, you'll see there's different options here. First is you can select the drop down, and you've got different types of gradients. So you can see different types of blues there. There's different sort of filters. So I can put pinks through my blue. So have a look at what options sort of uh, you fancy. So let's go into oranges, like so. Select it. Then what you do is you draw it. So if I want the gradients to be straight, I just draw a straight line across, and you can see it will go from this sort of um, burnt, this sort of bright orange through to this burnt orange. But let's change the color again, and I'll show you another thing. So let's go different sort of color. Let's just say I want to have an angle to my gradient. I can then angle my line down, and you can see that it's heavier at the bottom, the gradients, than the top. And I'll just show you one more time. Let's say a different color. If I want to sort of angle it up the top, like so, you can see it does that. So the gradient tool is really great. I recommend you use it when um, creating like backgrounds for like, whether it's for uh, intro or outro for a, a film. Otherwise you can also use the paint bucket tool, um, which is also very good for doing solid colors. If you've got any questions, please let me know.